let me continue pretending that I'm showing two monitors in this help movie. Because our next step is to open up our ArcGIS Online shortcut, this ERSRI thing here. So double click that. And that's going to open up a new tab on top of our help movies again. But what we want to do with this tab is to drag it onto the right monitor. So if I imagine again that this red line is the boundary between my two monitors, I want to click on this tab and I'm going to drag it right over to the right monitor so that it fits in kind of like that. There we go. Now that I've got this on my right monitor, I can hide my help movies. You, of course, will not need to ever hide your help movies. But now we're back to one monitor and when you do get this new window on your right monitor, we want to position it at the top left part of your right monitor, like that, and then with the uh, bottom corner, drag that all the way over to the bottom right of your right monitor. And that way we're going to have a nice big workspace to uh, play in. So we're ready to sign in. Click the sign in link up here. You're going to put in your school login, but I'm going to use my school login, which is uh, similar but different. And of course the password that you also wrote down. And we'll click on the sign in button. If you get this message, do you want Google Chrome to save your password, click on never because we don't want your password getting saved for other people to use. So here we are on our home page here and we want to actually go to the map page. We'll get this lovely map of North America and we want to add our GPX file. So click on this Add button. We want to add a layer from File. We want to click on Choose File. And we need to look for the Downloads folder. So here's Downloads and there's our blah, 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 waypoints.gpx file. Click on Open. Click on Import. And there we go. We've got our trees on the map. Now this is all fine and dandy, but we can make this look a bit better because, you know, our trees look like they exist sort of in isolation there. Although there's two trees that are visible on the map right there, which is kind of funny, but none of the other ones. So if we click on this base map button up here, let's click on imagery, maybe imagery with labels, because then we still get Danforth labeled. Now it's hard to kind of see our waypoints, but they are there. But uh, we're going to take care of that in a second. Let's sort of hover over the waypoints layer and we get these extra tools at the bottom here. And we want to click on this three dot button for more options. And we're going to click on create labels. Let's uh, check off this halo option. That's going to uh, make our text easier to read. And let's click on the bottom right alignment and that's going to uh, be handy later on. All we have to do now is click the OK button. We're going to go back up to our waypoints layer and we're going to click on these three shapes here. That's going to let us change the style of our waypoints. So instead of show location only, we want to click on here and we're going to choose name and then under this options here we're going to click on that and we see we've got our waypoints now all different colors which is kind of nice and if you like those colors great if you want to try some different colors click on this symbols link here you can choose a different kind of shape they don't give you very many choices but you if you don't like circle you can try something else but for a tree circles good you can change the size a little bit so maybe something like 14 is going to be a little bit nicer or probably not any bigger than 14 at any rate 
But if we go to fill, you can see that we have a number of different styles available to us. So they're using this one here, which is that first one, but we can click on a different one and maybe like these kind of deeper colors that was more pastel or what have you. You've got some choices there. But uh, click OK when you're happy with that and we can see we have much bigger and very colorful waypoints. And then finally just click the OK button down at the bottom and then click the Done button. The other thing that we want to do is make sure that our waypoints are centered and well something like that and you can if you want try zooming in that's a little bit too much that's probably the best zoom level we're gonna get just make sure you can see all of your waypoints and you may need to uh, move your map around a little bit if you've got some waypoints over in front of Wilkinson let's say but don't use the scroll wheel to try and zoom that moves your map up and down. You need to use the zoom tools up in the corner here for it to work properly. And now the very last thing we're going to do is change the name of this layer because blah, 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 waypoints is, uh, well, that's just strange. So click on the more options button. We're going to click on rename and we're going to get rid of all that and put in tree tour and click OK. But we are ready to save, so we're going to click on this Save button up here and click Save again. And for the title, start off with your role. Our group were arborists. Then do a space and a minus sign or a dash and put in your name and your partner's name. They're going to make us add in some tags. So click in this tag area here and just put your names again. Chris, Paul. It doesn't really matter exactly, but they want some kind of tag in there. Then we can click Save Map. And now you're ready for the next movie.